This is the equivalent circuit for a solar cell. It consists on a power of a constant current source, I used to call it generator, which uh, 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 it works like a constant source of electrons being pushed towards one of the terminals. This uh, power, the, the constant current source, it's in parallel with the diode, which uh, we're going to open when the open circuit voltage will be reached. So the sun we're going to make this uh, current source to uh, provide uh, open circuit voltage, which is the highest voltage on the circuit, and at that time current we're going to keep flowing, but instead of going outside, we're going to uh, close circuit and we're going to just run inside the cell. Here's uh, that uh, uh, shunt resistance here, which is the equivalent of leaks. Uh, none of the solar cells are 100% efficient and uh, they are not 100% efficient because a little bit of uh, uh, resistance ohmic always exists and a little bit of current always flows through, through it as uh, by the ohm's law. Uh, the solar cell has, um, by the way, this is a solar cell, uh, has a grid, those, that grid over there is the top uh, contact uh, the top contact, the blue color is because of anti-reflective uh, coat, usually in this case it's titanium dioxide and uh, in other cases can be silicon nitrate or something like that. And here it's a back contact, which is a screen printing aluminum film uh, backed up by two uh, um, sort of, so two lines of silver. Silver has much uh, better conductivity and uh, it can be soldered on it. So this is a 4 inch solar cell. Now, uh, the, those contacts and the back contact has a resistance. So this is uh, the so-called here cell resistance. Now if you contact the front of the solar cell with the with the one Y and the back of with the other Y, you can install here a load which can be uh, DC motor, a resistance, light emitting diode, all kind of application or any or an inverter which we're going to take the DC, which in the case you know one one solar cell in silicon is 0.7 volts uh, uh, can be transformed in AC or um, uh, again put at work. This is the equivalent circuit of a solar cell. The, what's wrong with this model is that it requires quite a bit of understanding of uh, electricity. And uh, not all the people who would love to understand the solar cells are familiar with uh, those constant current, shunt resistance, uh, uh, asymmetric uh, resistive device and stuff like that. We're going to, in the next presentation, we're going to have a hydraulic model which makes, uh, provide good understanding without uh, uh, too much uh, background information. Thanks for listening.